Morning, little one. What's that you've got in your hand? Is that? No, don't eat it. We're not changing daddy's golf grips today, are we? And giving people a chance to win them. What? We are? No. It's true, everyone. Golf Pride have sent me some Ryder Cup themed limited edition golf grips. Actually, after that weekend's golf, should we call them Solheim Cup themed grips? Go on, girls. And I'm going to be showing you how to re grip your grips at home. And they've sent me two sets of grips. So, ones to give away to one lucky winner down that lens. What are you doing? Trying to make a smoothie. For you or for Ava? For Ava. Oh, that's nice. Try it. What's the first thing they have to do to win these sets of grips? I don't know. Um, go on TikTok. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Follow my TikTok. So first thing is to remove all the grips. And you need to do it slightly different for the steel shafts compared to the graphite. Let's start with the steel shaft. So literally knife straight down the grip as hard as you can. Don't even worry about scratching the shaft. Once you've done that all the way down the grip, rip it off and that is stage one of the steel shaft done. Graphite, however, you need to be a little bit more careful. Please, please, please don't get your knife and press as hard as you can against the shaft and go all the way down the grip. You're going to splinter and break the graphite shaft. So what I do is literally roll the end of the grip back first as far as I can. Roll it back, roll it back. And that's as far as I can go and then break where you've rolled it all back to and that's the start of your grip removal once you've done that you can either be really muscly really muscly and you might get lucky and the grip might come all the way off but you'll probably get a bit like this where it just overlaps keep overlapping it keep splitting the grip don't go anywhere near that graphite shaft oh i've got a bit of ripping going on here which is good look nice and now I've hit a point again where it stopped. And now get your knife nowhere near the shaft and just mark it and you should be able to grip and move again. And there you have it. Two grips removed, one from a graphite shaft, one from a steel. No splinter graphite, we're all good to start the next bit of the process. You'll probably have old grip tape in the ends of the clublet you can see there. I'd suggest trying to get that out as well because you don't want it disappearing down your shaft and making a rattle when you're swinging. So I literally just get the Stanley knife and remove all the excess grip tape. You can take all the grip tape off if you want. I don't really bother. One layer of extra grip tape doesn't affect the feel and stuff for me. So I leave the old stuff on and put the new grip tape over the top. There we go, all grips removed, ready to pop the grip tape on. And as I was here on Saturday, little one, where are we going? The aquarium to see some fish. Wow, brilliant. Look a bit like you. <laughs> what else do they need to do to win those grips, Molly? Unfollow Matt on Instagram. Oh, ouch. Hello, Mr. Octopus. How are you today? Back home, she didn't mean unfollow everyone. She meant follow my Instagram. Now, should we put some grip tape on? Grip tape next, and you're gonna need one of the new grips you're gonna be putting on your club. Line the top bit up with the grips, see where it goes down to, and we need the grip to start just below what the original tape was on the shaft. Club between your legs, pop the grip tape on where you measured up to, stick it to the shaft, and it's important that you cut about a centimeter above the shaft when you take the grip off. Wrap it all round really nice and evenly so you've got no creases. And there is your grip tape on. Now's the time for the messy bit. These are being put on their new homes. What are you doing? That's my bag. Hello, old friend. Oh, it's yours, Seven <laughs> Iron. You wanna to go to the driving range one day this week? Yes, please. 
What's the final thing they have to do to win these grips? TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Oh, you've named all three. Just as a little reminder. Very nice. I passed the test. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do it again next week. <laughs> now you need white spirit. Pop your finger on the end hole so it doesn't all run out. Get yourself a funnel. Pop it in the end of the grip. White spirit in the grip. Funnel back in there for the time being. Thumb on the end, give it a good shake so it's all wet inside. Grab yourself a pan from the dustpan and brush. Let all the liquid out over the double-sided tape. Pop your club up against a hard surface. If you're about a bit precious about your clubs, pop a towel down there as well. Golf pride bit at the top. Slide it over the end of the grip. Push it down all the way. And then it's just about lining it up. And there you have it. A new set of grips on the golf clubs. Yes, please. Oh dear. How dirty are they? And one last thing in the comment section down below. What grips do you currently have on your golf clubs? And do you have a favorite? Let me know down there. Look forward to seeing you all in the next one.